I wish we could have a do-over, but this I weekend's know. a lot different, and that's why we're here to help people plan yes. out their day. And let me tell you, you don't have to cross your fingers. Uh, Friday the 13th. Or crisscross or throw salt. And, trying to right. do all those superstitious things. <laughs> really nothing bad in our forecast. Typical high is 50. We're going to do 51 today. It's mostly dry. You might need the umbrella later on today. We'll get into that with the future cast. It's chilly tomorrow. Let's talk about it. Maybe some snow. Just a few rain or snow showers. They should be light during the morning hours. And I think by late morning, in fact, we're dry. A brisk day and then a windy day here turning wet on Sunday. Let's take a look at our next weather maker. We've had high pressure overnight with the mainly clear sky. Temperatures got cold, frosty cold. There's some fog out there, but there's that high pressure drifting away now. Cold fronts arriving with some scattered light showers, rain showers this afternoon with those temperatures near 50 seasonal levels. And there's some cold air behind this front, which will be our chilly air for tomorrow. Not getting out of the 40s for tomorrow. Later in the seven days, some days not getting out of the 30s. Talk about wintry weather. So I'll take this weather this morning. It's going to be dry, partly sunny sky. As we go into the afternoon, we turn mostly cloudy. Here's that threat for a shower mid to late afternoon. These are likely to be scattered and light and all rain showers, as you can see, even still some breaks in the clouds after sunset. Tonight, a couple of more spotty showers move through during the late evening. We will develop some lake effect showers east of the lake to the north and northeast of Onondaga County, which slides southeast of the lake tomorrow morning. Could be some snow at higher elevations, especially on the Tug Hill in Lewis County into Herkimer County. Might be a coating to an inch briefly late night. And then here we get these scattered light rain and snow showers tapering off during the morning. The clouds hold tough, but eventually break up and the winds will ease up after a breezy morning. So I think later in the afternoon, some of the best weather for tomorrow, but not getting out of the 40s. Clouds increase tomorrow night. Temperatures actually go up after being down near freezing. We're into the 50s later Sunday, but we are going to be dealing with some of that rain. So here's your seven day forecast. It's actually my pick day today, even with that threat for rain later today. 51, 46 for tomorrow. Breezy in the morning. It's a chilly day. A few flurries, sprinkles for the morning hours tapering off. And then it's windy with periods of rain developing during the morning on Sunday. Monday, a few rain showers for all of us, but east of the lake, higher elevation lake effects snow that could really pile up towards Monday night for the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks. Snow showers drop into central New York with a new cold front on Tuesday, 39. It'll be windy there again, and we'll likely see our accumulation here in central New York, mostly at higher elevations. Morning snow showers Thursday, only 34.